Welcome back to Bedanza Disc Golf. It has been a week for me, no time for you because I scheduled some uploads, but just got back from vacation. I actually played one round yesterday with a couple subscribers and I played really hot, but I didn't realize how sore you can get in just one day when you don't work out at all for a week because I was on a cruise. Today we are at USF Riverfront Park in Tampa, Florida, but I just wanted to play a quick 18 holes with you guys, see how we feel. I have my newer bag. I'm feeling pretty good about my game. I'm a little bit sore and I'm still wanting to make sure that I take care of my elbow and shoulder. I'm gonna be playing less disc golf than I was before I went on my cruise because I overdid it for a couple weeks and I'm still feeling the pain of having done that because I was pretty stupid. As always, we're trying to get under par here on the channel. No specific goal for this video. I just want to throw around after vacation, kind of see where I'm at. There are a couple things in my head in terms of what I'm trying to think are the next big steps in taking my disc golf game to the next level as I have another about three months before I'm planning on playing any tournaments. I don't feel tournament ready, but I feel like if I was to play at a tournament, I would play well, but I know that I have a lot more potential to unlock. So I'm working on that right now, but let's kind of just see where we're at. All right, hole one is not gonna be easy to see. 340 feet, it is just to the left of this big tree, way down there, kind of backing up to the water. We have the backhand and the forehand gap with a mando on this tree, you gotta keep left of, so. With probably just a straight shot, with my strike, maybe around 80% power, not throwing it crazy hard. Oh, get out of that tree. That'll be short, but it should be a putt. I think I figured out the main problem with my bracing right before I left to go on my cruise, and I haven't been able to work on it at all. So as I'm coming out to film this, I just finished editing my second video with Thomas Gilbert. And I noticed that my release points are a little off compared to his, compared to Kevin Kiefer, who I've also shot with. We'll have videos coming out soon with both of those guys. And just as a forewarning, that was like two days before my cruise. I was very sore and tired. It kind of came together a little last minute. It will be some of the worst play that you've seen from me on my channel. It was really embarrassing. But that being said, what I, a lot of what I notice is my release tends to be more forward instead of out to the left, closer to that 10 o'clock point that a lot of people talk about. And I think that a lot has to do with my off arm, which I think will also help to fix my leg brace. So, lots of things to work on. And I'll explain a little bit more about that and then definitely have a full video coming out later. The one thing I always forget to do before videos is warm up my putt. I seem to never remember to do that, but. Oh, dude. All right. So the main thing that I noticed is when I come in with my off arm, I kind of bring it in and bring it around. And that gets me tight and that gets me fast rotation, but, that also means that when I release the disc, everything is moving at the same pace with my upper body. And so when I release it, it has the time to, instead of going from here to here, to go from here since everything is still moving and release here instead of here. The biggest thing I think with that is not focusing on this to lead to rotation, but focusing on stopping with the off arm so that everything stops to rotate as fast as the hand and it extends here and it goes faster than the rest of the body, really creating that whip effect. Something that I'm thinking about that makes sense based on some videos that I've watched and just my understanding of disc golf, I think I can hit that person if I throw. I think I'm gonna have to throw straight up the gut because there's a person in a hammock to the left. And I really wanna go forehand, but I think we're just gonna go strike again. Not really something I'm focusing on right now, just focusing on having fun and playing, but definitely something I'm going to be working on a lot with some network and field work. Probably a little short, but I'll take that. That one I did focus on a little bit, contrary to what I said. When I've done it, I've honestly felt a little more tingle in my forearm over here. I think that's because blood is rushing to it faster than I'm used to it rushing to it because it's actually acting like that tip of the whip. So lots more to learn. So I'm giving myself three months and I'll be breaking that down in some future videos. Left. Oh, par par, love the way to start like that. Good choice. All right, whenever I film these videos, I always tell myself, hey, don't throw too many practice shots. And then I'm always picking up four practice shots before I get to my lie. I really need to not do that for the sake of my body, but first birdie of the round. Uh, I think we got a nice little forehand, big forehand gap actually, Just probably just flex my Kotuku through. I could forehand probably any mid or putter, maybe except for my little 2E and P1 uh, and get it there. I think I need to put an Envy in the bag. I think we're gonna go Kotuku 
one of my favorite mid-ranges right now. I've been throwing this thing pretty well. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Very deep, wow. I guess I'm not used to this distance. I think we'll try two more. I think the Kia would have been pretty good. I've not been liking the Kia, honestly, too much, which is why I'm trying not to throw it. I kind of want to put a zone back in my bag. I don't have a premium plastic zone right now. I might have to go buy one. Because I like, I don't, know what, I don't know what I like yet in that slot. That'll play. It's also just a straight shot. P1, perfect. Oh, there's no look, that's awesome. That's great, there's like no look at all. Gotta be a little forehander actually. Oh, come on! Dang, that would've been a cool birdie. Alrighty, hole five, says 310 feet. The T sign shows that it's straight, but it's straight through the woods. I kind of like the line a little bit before hit. All right, so our basket is through over there. Oh, wow, that was quite the shot. Probably have to be a backhand roller. Not a lot of angle. <laughs> That's not flipping enough. Not even close to flipping enough. Well, there'll be an upshot in. I had put the heat in the bag to replace an Archangel that I had in here. I don't think the heat's flippy enough though, honestly. Not bad. All right, this tee pad backs right up to the woods, hole six. It says 270 feet straight ahead. It kind of looks like it's in the A position though, which would be 310. Super low ceiling, part of me wants to take a fair way at it with my strike, just on some hyzer. I have really like my hex though recently. I've been throwing that thing pretty good. Could be a Pathfinder shot, but me and that just kind of hate each other right now. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to lessen the amount of times that I shoot in a day. So probably not as many 18 hole videos for a while or just split up the 18 between two to get two days worth of content because don't want to hurt myself and I still got to train. <laughs> I also just need to take a little bit more rest time. So I'll probably do one day of filming for three days of videos, take one or two days off and then move forward. But a little behind the scenes, got to start lifting again too. That would really help. Yeah, it's definitely the 310 position, I'm pretty sure. That's oh, a pretty good shot though, should be put. Not a bad little hex shot. All right, back under par, on to seven. We're gonna get a little catch cam. Here's hole seven. Fast, or tee pad is straight ahead. Normally, I'm not saying tee pad. I think it's like 220 feet. Uh, Kotuka's probably what I'm gonna throw, just on a hyzer. Just gotta get it over all these stumps in the front here. Yeah, Kotuku or Kia, I think probably Kotuku. Just Try to impart a lot of spin, not a lot of speed. All right, pretty good, not great. I don't even think you could see where it finished. Oh yeah, perfect. First one counts. Okay, I gotta be honest. At this point, this course is getting a little bit annoying because three holes in a row that you go to the basket and you have to backtrack basically down the other fairway a little bit and a little diagonal to get to the next hole. It also is the third hole in a row going straight into the sun, which is really annoying for filming. But we have 280 feet basically up this corridor and then finishing to the left. I'm between a fairway and a mid range. I think it's probably a mid play because it looks like there's OB beyond the fence. Actually probably fairway because fairway will always finish to the left just because of that. Could also be the Kotuku, but I think we'll probably just go strike. Ah, uh, a little high, but that'll actually still do pretty good. Should have butt. Man, I love my first putts today. Thank God I love my first putts today. Hole nine, 263. That ahead of us, little turnover. I don't know if I quite have anything flippy enough, like a hyzer flip shot. I could just throw flat the P1 or the two, and I think those will be good. Two is kind of more stable than you think though. A little unfortunately. Yeah, 250. I think P1 I've been really liking throwing, so. I don't know if I should just play nine, because my elbow, I feel it. 
feels sore, but I thought that it was just sore and then I took five days off and then I played, I played two full rounds yesterday and I just definitely got it re-sore. So I think after today, I'm gonna take a day off. <sighs> which I definitely need to do. Um, dang, that really stinks. I was planning on playing some pretty cool courses, but definitely should just get to Orlando, take a day off uh, and then get back at it later. It's unfortunate. I get along with that disc so well. With my elbow and everything, I do think one of the main factors is not been lifting because I go out and play all the time and do all these things that my body gets used to a little bit, but it's just a lot of strain and I don't strain it more than that in a controlled, safe environment. Pretty good shot. <laughs> and I think because of that, I'm gonna lift a little bit more and focus on that. Maybe for the next month or so, not exclusively, obviously, but focus a decent bit on that just so that I can make sure that I am really safe and built some good habits for the season. And I will have those lifting videos coming out. They're supposed to come out while I was on my cruise, but my audio got messed up from them. So those will be coming out about the whole philosophy, who I'm working with, and then three different workouts. I'll vlog all of that and maybe do a little bit more of workout videos as well as some disc golf videos, just so that I'm making sure that my body stays really, really good and healthy because that's important. This is important because it's my full-time job and I need to make money to survive and to move. It's also important to take care of your body when you're trying to be a professional athlete. Probably important things. So because of that actually, and because this back nine apparently is like pretty hard and wooded, which I'm super excited for, we're gonna split in between two videos today and tomorrow, just so that I don't have to feel rushed to go and get another video out. Um, just because back end business wise, it's so important for me to get as many videos out as I can to make sure that this can stay full time because it probably can't if I'm not doing close to as many videos as I am right now. So we're just changing that a little bit. Super cool front nine. What am I, three down? Oh, four down through the front nine. So not the end of the world, but on the back, I think it's gonna be pretty wooded. Pretty tough, wooded Florida golf. Haven't played a lot of that. Go watch that right down here when it does come out. Otherwise, that'll be pre-populated with a different video um, that would be really awesome for you to go watch. I really appreciate you guys. Please subscribe if you want to. I appreciate the whole journey. Got some really cool stuff coming out this next week. Um, some discs and stamps. Thank you for everything that you've done for me so far. And I'm really excited for what we're gonna do this year. Just gotta take care of myself. Okay, love you guys, bye.